I am Brian Whitledge, and I am the archivist for University Digital Records here at Central Michigan University. Today, we're looking at the Dick Bolton slides of a 1976 natural gas well fire in Otsego County near Gaylord. So in late May, May 27th of 1976, there was some seepage of some flammable materials into the well, and it ignited and caused the, the cap to blow, and there was a fire. So Dick Bolton was a journalist. He worked for the Michigan Oil and Gas News, among other things. He taught journalism here at Central Michigan University. When he heard about the blowout, made his way up to Otsego County to document what was going on. And some of his slides, which we hold, show flames were reaching as high as 200 feet. And so in these old Kodak ektachrome slides, you have this rich color of an orange blaze reaching way into the sky with black smoke all around it. The color is as vibrant as anything you would find today shot with a digital camera. It continued to rage for several days to the point that they had to call in the biggest of the big guns in terms of people who could put it out, and that was a gentleman named Red Adair. It was serious business if you had to call Red Adair in. For the first several days that Adair and his team were here, they were planning how to put the fire out. That meant doing inspections of the fire. The crew used tens of thousands of gallons of water to more or less douse him and the area around him as he walked into the fire to get near the well to view how best to extinguish this fire. To extinguish oil well fires, the best way is to suffocate it, something that rapidly consumes all the oxygen, like an explosion. So they would use an explosion near the cap, consume all the oxygen, and thereby extinguish the flames. The natural gas well was finally capped on June 29th of 1976. The fire has gone by many names, just simply the blowout, the Crawford Well Holocaust, or the gas gusher.